Connect over sports? No, it's oh, not your that practice when, it's, when it's been your life. See, that's the that's what I that's what I mentioned. See, and that's what you sent and that and that and that's the problem right there. We don't know how to separate that. We but don't that's know how to separate. That's how I no, it, no, just, you can separate it. My dad, you, get, you have to, bro. Okay, how you? Head on the swivel, I'm focused and not out here nervous. Your words never hurt us. Straight out the dirt, no the grinders go take me to first. My verses and curses. Me and my dog rode down 50 50, no curtains. I'm closing the curtains. Stop all the acting, I'm tired of all of the purple. Moving like I'm losing, never go against the dark. Moving like I'm losing, never go. Moving like I'm losing, never go. I be moving like I'm losing, never go against the law. All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Law of Athlete Podcast. Of course, we got the crew, Sid, Tay, and our special guest today, who is Laurencia Moten, a.k.a. Lala. She's doing a lot of things in sports. Being a woman in sports is something that's very important, especially a woman of color, because we need more of those. Um, and it's cool to see young people doing things in sports, especially while still being in school, getting a master's and all those other things. So welcome to the Law of Athlete podcast. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. I like your drip, y'all. Thank you. What should I call my store? Got to shout them out. Pat. Yes, yeah. Pat. That's my guy. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hooked me up yesterday, so. Nice. So, all him. you told me you were going to be on the show, he was like, yo, the go ahead with this joint right exactly. here. Exactly. I got you. I said I was going to be on the show. I was like, <laughs> I need some, you know, something cute, and this is the perfect time. Yes, oh. I like that. The color, pops of color, especially Thank summertime, you. all that. The Thank lenses, you. And my stylist, she's white. here. Y'all can't the see balance. her. Your stylist or your stylist? Right there. You know. Shout out to that stylist. Got to shout the stylist. Mango. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. So, so, having you here today, let's talk about your background a little bit with okay. basketball. You had a father. Yeah. Played basketball, very mm -hmm. well-known, played in the league, yeah. played at Syracuse. Yeah. What was it like growing up in a household with someone who was very embedded into the game and then in turn taught you the game? You know what? Being in, like, the DMV area specifically, it was awesome. You know, my name's Laurencia. His name is Lawrence. Mm -hmm. So that in and of itself was kind of, like, you know, awesome. Like, everywhere I go, it's like, are you Lawrence Milton's daughter? And I'm like, yeah, I am. But it was, it was a little bit of pressure growing up. You know, um, especially playing the same sport that he played. A lot of people compare you. But um, I feel like I held my own and I held it down. It was awesome. Just everywhere we go, you know, somebody asking him to take a picture. So I just grew up knowing, like, what he did was super special. So it seems like your, your dad, like, kind of set that standard. But growing up, it also helps you understand how, like, you have to hold yourself to a certain accountability level knowing who – your father is for sure and you know my dad always says like you build your own legacy mm -hmm. and so he never wanted me to like fall into his you know f I, I couldn't you know I'm a female so ultimately I can't do exactly what he did but he wanted me to make my own path and I feel like I've done that and he's super proud so yeah oh snap <laughs> did you learn something new today oh, <laughs> <laughs> did you not know <laughs> yeah and then <laughs> Having a younger sister where she didn't play basketball, yeah. how did that go? Did he sort of let you guys choose if you wanted to hoop or not? So, or she, like, tried it, was like, it's not for me? So, actually, Leilani played basketball with me all throughout, like, you know, growing up. She just didn't play in college. She okay. was actually going to go to Penn State Harrisburg. That's a D2, you know, one of the Penn State schools. But she decided to go to Morgan. And okay. um, I had gotten an offer by Morgan, and we went on our official visit, and Leilani came with me as one of the guests. And that's when she saw the campus for the first time. So she just graduated from Morgan two weeks ago, which was super awesome. You know, seeing her cross that stage and just remembering the first time that we were there was when I was on my visit and, mm -hmm. you know, how it transformed and allowed her decision to be, you know, step away from basketball but focus. She just um, accepted her full-time offer for J.P. Morgan and Chase oh, very in New York. Oh, very awesome. So she's about to be Bad killing talk. it. Bad. You know what I'm talking black. about? Excellent. So, you know, I, can't, I couldn't be more proud of her. Yeah, that's good. That's real great. I didn't know that she had played basketball yeah, with you. Did. So yeah. also, you know, kind of making her own path. Like, yeah, you don't really. have to play in school. Don't. Oh. Well, we both Libra, so we're going to go in. Yeah, you probably don't want that energy. Want I'm a Scorpio. <gasps> My sister's a Scorpio, so I love Scorpios. So I don't really have much bad things to say. Sorry. So it's safe Scorpios to say that are loyal. Libras are toxic. People. You're a Scorpio. No. What are you? So then. What are you? Mango. <laughs> 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 what sign are you? Said. Let's guess it. Let's guess it. Let's guess. guess You're your not a Pisces. A hundred percent. Okay. Not a Pisces. Go ahead. 
Virgo. You're a Sagittarius. Go ahead. You look like an Aquarius. I look like an Aquarius. How? Go ahead. Go ahead. He's an Aquarius. How? Virgo. How do I look like it? How am I Aquarius? How do I look like? They're kind of like. When I say yeah, Virgo, yeah, why yeah. Not answer? I'm a Virgo. Oh, Virgo. You can't tell that he's a Virgo. Look, I don't have you, that thing so to why say did you say I look like an Aquarius? <laughs> no, because I've never heard a Virgo just say all, Libras Aquarius are toxic. Wait, what? <laughs> Virgos are so loving. Have no heart whatsoever. Like they like emotionless people. Who? Aquarius. I didn't think that. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They're like they eclectic. literally be like they're they like don't. I, honestly, I don't even like they this science stuff, bro. That be blowing me. Like <laughs> because one time I asked somebody like, "You, what like you think my bro. sign is?" And they they said it wrong. But and I, then I was it like, right. "No, no, it's not." Well, you you know me. You know. But the thing is, though, you act like a Virgo. Y'all does, have the how smartest how mouths whatsoever. Okay, and also. Scorpios. No, oh, I know. I got a Libras. Capricorns. No, no, y'all know for every that. sign. No, it's no, every no, sign. No, have no, like, that's I, not true. I feel like that's not true. That's not true. So it's twelve kind of people in this world. Huh? It's twelve kind of people in this world. Because it's twelve signs. So it's twelve pe- people in this world. It, it could be twelve. Yeah. I hate. I hate this stuff. <laughs> I really don't like this. Astrology. Bro. I hate it. I'm just. Like the rising, like what is a rising? No, I don't believe that. I don't, I don't know rising, about falling, all that, all all that, that extra stuff. stuff. But it's like so. sometimes I'll be reading like the signs. You know, you see them post yeah. on Instagram or Twitter or something. You scrolling, you be like, "That's and, me." Yeah, we, we rolling, oh, we rolling. And <laughs> rolling. you be like, we rolling, we rolling. "Oh, that, that is definitely me." Mm. Y'all don't be thinking that? I do, no, but I, it's just yeah. like, well, I know me. You know you. I didn't know we were going either. <laughs> I was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We good. It's like a pandemic. Oh, yeah. No, we, yeah. It's, oh, it's the live. Action? <laughs> it's action. Okay. Live camera. We ain't got the thing that we used to have, the little. <laughs> nah, we good, though. Okay. It's all sorry. good. So, good. yeah. As far as signs go, I believe in them. 100%. In a sense. All right. When I, when I read something that I feel as though relates to, to me you. specifically. Okay. But when you. All right. So. But when I don't you, know you, about all the other signs, though. I'm right, not so into it like, that deeply. When you start talking to a, a guy, no, I never you, think. Do you about look into this? No. All right, do you? I don't look into it immediately, but I'm like, okay, for instance, if he's an Aries, my dad's an Aries, right? And like, for some reason, I'm attracted to Aries, but it just doesn't necessarily work out. Why? So I'm just like, huh? Why doesn't it work out? I don't know because we butt heads. I think they're just too. We're too strong. You know, we're both. It's just different Emotional. but so I'll immediately i'm like okay i know the, how this is gonna go but i'm like maybe you're different well, but right. they're never different okay but what about yeah. you though you you didn't you didn't mention anything about yourself like what do you want to know about me i'm just saying like y'all said that we bump heads but it's just like all right can't what if it's a good guy though you like him like has it been an aries that you mess with that you like you like and you was like okay this could work but you're like ah but nope we're gonna butt heads no i'm never i'm never I'm, gonna be like okay I'm just going to shut it down because of the, you know, me forecasting. Yeah. But once, you know, things happen that I've already, like, predicted in my brain, I'm not going to shoo it away. Mm. But would you say you predicting it in your brain, damn, they already manifested it? You, like, you to not work? It to not I work. hope not. Because you speak things into existence. That's what I'm saying. If like we already think, sabotaging if we already think it's like, dang, I can't mess with, nope, I can't mess with this sign. I already know how it's going to be. And right. then you just, it's, I feel like people just waiting for it to happen. Like, right. you're you like, all right, you know, I'm going to give it a chance, but, oh, I knew it. <laughs> I, I knew it. You a Capricorn. I knew you was going to say that. It's like, <laughs> I feel like nobody's <laughs> thinking about it. No, people, think people think no, thinking about it. No, psychotic if you're thinking that I don't think about it. I don't y'all think about it. Y'all psychotic if you're thinking like that. Who is y'all? I don't even know. I said, I was about to say, I don't even know, like, the signs like that. Like, I don't, I'll be like, I won't be like, oh. He's an Aries. I can't mess with like never. I, yeah, no. But you know yourself though. Like yeah, I do know myself. So if, if you if a dude was like, "Oh, you a Scorpio?" Uh, I know about y'all. <laughs> and you also know about yourself. You like, ah, well, yeah. I mean, you. I right feel like you. Point. You must have been messing with the wrong Scorpios. Everybody. But, yeah, TC three. <laughs> but that's on her. Her. That's on her. So like. So, so, like, okay, we're going to talk about, like, relationships since we already on the Zodiac sign But stuff talk about people. relationships with athletes. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. So, right. like, all right, do you feel as though athletes should date other athletes or you can actually date somebody that, that was never an athlete? I feel like it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Okay. But athletes... I don't know. I feel like sometimes we kind of like. I mean, we're all we were all athletes, so like, hundred percent. 
But I can speak something the guys. I feel like sometimes, bro, we don't really know how to separate. Because I've dated. I dated anybody who's not an athlete? Yeah, I have. I, like, sometimes we don't know how to, like, separate the, like, the, the game or the competition or, like, the. The challenge and, and the, from and the, the other person can't really yeah relate like because right. they don't yeah like, like dang why are you so aggressive I'm like like for example like bro all our life we we really be like working on our game like ourselves bro right. so it's like like that line you wasn't with me shooting in the gym like it's like you know exactly. it's like that don't have anything to do with anything but yeah. exactly. it's like we be working on ourselves all our lives and then like I feel like for me I feel like we try to I try to like fix I used to try to like fix people mm. you know I'm working like. For instance, you're working on yourself. You you in the gym. You doing whatever on the field, and then like you get in a relationship with somebody, and like you're like I can fix that. I can try to fix this person, and it's like okay. why? It's like because it's a challenge. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Y'all kind of right. get yeah, where I'm going. I've it's never like, done that though. I'm not that person though. I feel like where I meet you and how you are, you know, we're obviously gonna grow together, but I'm never gonna try to change you because my biggest fear is honestly like tweaking something about a guy or teaching him how I want to how I want him to treat me and then him leaving and being the perfect guy for somebody for Why another you? girl. How are you? So I'm not going to teach you how to be the right man for me cuz I feel like if you are Ooh. the perfect guy for me, you know, it'll work out. No. I think everybody Why can't can you teach? I can tell him how I how like do you to be expect? treated, but once I tell you and you don't do that? I'm not going to keep forcing it. You're clearly not it's the not right person. It's not forcing. Teaching I, I isn't feel forcing. Like as a as a a female like give a, a different side or perception to it. You can be a genuine person, and they can change because they see how genuine you are yes. naturally. But you don't have to sit here and we're teach, not saying like, that. I'm not lines. saying you have to be yeah. in in elementary school. Like, yeah, I'm not like saying you gotta be in class. No, with but the I'm person. saying you're if if you're really into somebody, you're naturally going to grow together because that's what it is, and they're gonna pick up things off of you because they see oh she's genuine or. She For example, things. oh, she, like she things. studies really hard. That's going to make me study harder. Like, I see how she's really into her work, and she's always on the grind. I need to be like that. That's elements of teaching and learning from an individual. Mm. But you got to communicate those. I feel like Definitely. communication is the thing. It and is. communicating is teaching. So it's like you don't have to sit down and, like, hold their hand and, and, and outline something. But it's like you got y'all got to teach you the other things. You got to teach your person. I now, now, and if you keep repeating the same thing, it's like, all right, I like this, I like that. Now, that's when it comes like, okay, he's not listening. I well, she's like, not listening. But, like, you, I can't expect somebody to know exactly how what I want. No. I feel like communicating is expressing it. You know what I mean? Like, voicing it. And teaching is, like, it's that continuous talking, talking, talking. Think about a teacher. You have class over and over and over. I'm not going to keep going over and over and over. Like, I'll express this to you, and then you figure out how to do it and how to meet me where I am. Or, you know what I mean? We'll fall apart. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I, don't I don't think you have to that. keep being... Re- I don't think you have to... You've learned You've learned something. When you're in, in basketball practice, your coach go through a play. You learned it the first time. You're good. That's what now, I'm we so keep practicing it, yes, but so, it's okay. not... Like, but you can learn stuff. One, you, you can learn something one time. You can Maybe. teach somebody something off rip, and you can get it right then and there. That's why I said that you. if you got to keep 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 communicating the same thing and they don't get it, then they just don't get it. Mm. But, like, mm. sometimes people get it when you communicate with them. Like, I think we have the same. We're thinking this. I think this y'all are saying the same thing. Yeah, are we? Definition right, of to be honest, honest is just yes. different are than we? what I'm saying. <laughs> In a sense. I don't know. I mean, because, honestly, when you bought the, the, the basketball practice part into it, yeah, you, you go to practice and you already know the, the damn play. Y'all been running it all year, but you got to tweak some things. You got to continue to work mm. on it and, you know, do, do things of, the, of that nature. Well... As we speaking about relationships and athletes, right? Well, um, I feel like oftentimes I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak for myself. Oftentimes, well, when I was an athlete, oftentimes I would try to like because I gotta, you know, I'm a good man now. I'm, I'm, I'm a good dude. You feel me? Like I'm, he's a wholesome I'm solid. man now. I'm a, I'm a what? Wholesome man. I'm a wholesome man. I'm a godly man, God fearing man. But anyways, though, nah, I feel like like when I was an athlete, like, I would try to like fix my partner. Girl, <laughs> kind of crazy. I'm gonna fix my. I try to fix my girl. <laughs> I feel like I was trying to fix my girl, like, and I think that just results back to like just being competitive. But and fix being a, her in what way? Because she wasn't an athlete. Are you talking no, about no? It don't got it don't got athlete? nothing to do with dating a non-athlete. I'm just talking about dating a person. 
So like, that's just you and what you do. I just said I'm going to speak for myself, TC3. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> I thought we was talking about dating another athlete, though. I thought, I thought that another? was the point. Yeah, I can date another. Oh, that was, okay. Well, yeah, I can date another athlete. I feel like, yeah. I mean, I can. But have you? Have I? Yeah, I dated an athlete. Asking. Do you feel like okay. it's better to date athletes versus? That's, I don't think yeah. it matters. Okay. I that's, really don't think it matters because at the end of the day, you got to build some kind of foundation with that person. Like, you feel me? Like. Yeah, they got right. People that's not athletes got things to do too. Like right. sometimes I, I the athletes be thinking like people that don't play sports like don't be doing nothing. Like it's it's women out here, it's dudes out here that don't play sports that's really got their stuff right. going on in business and all that. Like, but we have to think about it from a perspective when you were in school being the student athlete. We're not talking about now. None of us are professional athletes right. except for Deontay. So when you were in school, was your personal preference? to date another athlete because you were in school and your schedules could probably better align as no. far as that. I feel like your practice, schedules don't studying. align when you when you got another athlete. Really? Okay. Why is that? Why? It probably depends on the sport. Yeah. Because all right, I dated a I dated a girl that played basketball in college. Okay. We had practice and then they had practice. Okay, mm-hmm. but did you did y'all go shack up in the dorm after? That that's the question. Did you go You do that house? with a girl who don't play sports? <laughs> like I you get my point is, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, you feel me? It, it really doesn't matter. I think I, don't, I, I think it doesn't matter. I think it makes it harder when you date. Okay, it does matter. No, I think it makes yeah. it, I think they make it harder when you date another athlete. Like, I would like, say that's for a guy, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because as a female, when you play a sport, there's not many guys that are, you know, going to be understanding of you having to wake up at 6 a.m. and not talk to him or leaving his crib or, you know, going hours on end yeah. where he's not going to hear from you. You know what I mean? That. So <laughs> guys aren't going to no, no, understand no, no, that. No, no, no. Have you dated, have you, have y'all dated someone who didn't play sports? No. I've I never had. one time. It was in How high did school. I, I never had. Freshman. Do y'all like that? Experience like, in my I, life. No, y'all be looking like, at them like because it's like, what do you do? Oh, nice. just, you're do waiting on me to what text you, you back after I'm yeah. back in practice. All right, so you see how I feel. It's like when, I'm tired like, of hell. You know, right now. Like, how I feel. And yeah, but my I mean, thing that's is why like, I would only I let, but, but when you're think. older, I think it's fine. Now that we're in that age where we're not in college anymore and people have real jobs and stuff yeah. like that, like I can't be mad at you because you didn't go to school and play Division One basketball. And now we're in the same boat. My D1 scholarship might have got me a different job than you, but you still might be a lawyer making more money than me even when I went to school for free. Right. So I feel like when you're older, it's probably easier because you're not thinking about sports. You're not thinking about right. athlete or not. That's right. just a... Is it, a, is a, it a, easier I, That's a older? status quo. I'm I saying am. it's probably easier to date somebody who was not an athlete in school. Because it's like, what are we going to talk about? We're going to sit mm-hmm. here and fucking talk about our accomplishments all our lives. Well, like, But I feel like as a woman, that's more so if it's a personal preference if you want to date somebody who's an athlete still. Or you just have a type. And that's yeah. fine. If your type is athletes and that's who you like, you like the ballers, the spenders, go for it. But sometimes you never know. Though, like. No, but I'm being, I'm being <laughs> honest, though. It's a type. If that's right. your type, your type is athletes, football players, track, it doesn't matter, professional soccer, so be it. That's what you're into. That's what you like. Right. And that's cool. Like, do your thing. But sometimes you don't know what you can find on the other side if you branch out and you you date this guy who's a, a big shot lawyer. You never know. You, you might have the next Einstein fucking son. So... <laughs> That's all oh, I'm saying boy, is. y'all hoopers, y'all it, in trouble. It's a tight. It I doesn't have to be I anything like to that. I have somebody from an athletic background, though, because I need yeah. to see your tape. Like, when I had kids, I'm trying to have athletic that's babies. That's not fair. That's true. I don't care, bro. That's, 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 that's what you want. Know, it is fair. Listen, it is fair. Listen, that's what though. you want. It's yeah, fair. I'm a smart it's fair. like. That's what you want. If my, if my, that, just because my girl an athlete, that don't mean she's not smart. She probably got straight A's in college. Like, she probably yeah. smart as hell. She probably went to But listen, though, I have a friend who... I need to see He's tape. like 6'6", six, six, mm-hmm. sort of. He's like that tall. Parents didn't play a lick of sports, but he was good and played basketball. Sometimes mm. it's just not about, like, sometimes true, the, the true, right connection, true. make the make the babies. I think for like, college, though, for me, it's more so, like, if she was if she plays some type of sport, I don't even care if it's a club sport. She has some type of understanding I care if it's a club sport. of, like, how busy your schedule could be because she's not just doing school. She's doing school, as really extracurricular activities, and she probably got whatever sport that she playing. It's more to understand. It's not because, like, oh, yeah, if you don't play a sport, I can't date you. Nah, it's like, if you play a sport, I know you understand the things that I'm going through as well. Yeah. So if I can't text I can you, agree with if that. I can't talk to you, you know why, because you're going through the same thing. 
know what I'm saying? But somebody who working a job at the mall while being in school can understand that. They busy, too. But we can't it's talk. A, it's, it's a different, it's a it's a different, different conversation. level of business. It's like not that much different. No, 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 no. I'm over here talking about running in 110 degree weather. And you over here yeah. talking about standing for six but hours yeah, at a retail that, store. But that's messed up, bro. That's not messed that's up. I mean, I did, do, well, I did it. I've done it. I've done that. So I'm you like, still, okay, that's cool. But our conversation is like, it's not as... It, to be honest, I'm telling you, you can't downplay what she's doing. Not, that's though, not right? downplaying it. It's, it is because you just me, said you're running. It's me it. acknowledging the fact that, yeah, our conversation is not as interesting because we really don't really have much in you common. Don't have a it's not that I'm not. It's not that you I don't got to connect over sports. No, it's or not your that practice when it's, running. Uh, when it's been your life. See, like that's the that's what I'm and that's what I mentioned. See, and that and that and that's the problem right there. We don't know how to separate that. We but don't know how to inevitable. separate. That's how no, I it, No, just, you can separate it. My wow. dad, you, get, you have to, bro. Okay, how you separate? Because you can't bring still you, you can't bring work home, bro. What you literally you don't have are a choice. Trainer. No, what bro. Are you, talking you don't about? have a choice. How do you? Sometimes. Your whole life, you stop but playing you sports just, and you still in the game, like bro. You, you just about? downplayed you what you I just downplayed the girl. What she does? No, if my I, girl. No, he's saying that it doesn't relate to him. It doesn't relate. Like it's it hard for us to have way. a real connection. Like and I can get real. it. And plus, I've worked. You don't. My point is, bro. You don't only have to connect through your damn sport. That's the. But when that's but when think about it though. Come on now, like can I just finish right quick? Okay, go. Because y'all throwing me off. You don't only have no seriously, y'all. You don't only have to connect. Through your sport, nah, cause bro, for real, bro, that'd be the problem, bro. We don't be knowing how to separate the damn sport, and that's why these women out here hate dating the damn athletes because they, don't they come hate home. They in the athletes, no, man. They don't, they don't listen, hate yeah, all right. the they yeah, hate right. they, they hate dating yeah, the right. because of how we what yeah, we do right. outside of athletics. Yeah, all right. Think about it for guys, for guys. I'm hey, gonna speak against. on the guys like by who? The nigga that's playing the drums. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him, you feel me, bro? Come on, bro. Like, I'm, I'm being dead serious, bro. I'm not nah, for real. I'm not even trying to be joke no. time, bro. But like, just let me finish, bro. I'm not trying to be on joke time for real. All but right. seriously, though, bro, a lot of times, bro, the athletes bring, we bring that shit back home, bro. Mm -hmm. And like, Okay, it's like, okay, they don't mind hearing about what we going through all day, but damn, we also got to show them some love and attention. And we don't do that. I'm trying to tell you. they do. We don't do that. I'm trying to tell you. See, you still a pro athlete, so you don't know. <laughs> You better. I'm telling you, when you get your when you get your woman, you better throw her some attention. Well, she might be so getting straight. I, I feel like it's all about Bye. what you are attracted to as a no. individual. Like, exactly. and I feel like most of the time when you talk to somebody, it's just because of like you said, your your group of who you've been around. Most right. of the time, you've been around athletes your whole life. When you go out, you're probably gonna be in the section with some fucking athletes. When you right, go here, right. you probably it, it's like right. it's just the nature of exactly. who you've been around. Yeah. Most of the time, they say you're a product of your environment. Exactly. That doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's just who you be with. That's what we, oh, if, if your friend about, group is athletes, right you're now. more prone to probably date one. This shit, real shit right now. Think about everybody that we got in the room right now. Damn that, everybody plays some type of sport. Yeah, that's how we met. But that's what I'm saying. We still around it though. We still, we got something I in common. I get it, but so that's what, not the way we have to connect only. You don't only have to connect that way, but, bro. If I like a girl and she don't, for real though, bro, if I like, it, am it's I like, am I like not, not making sense? You're not tripping no, on you're, you're not tripping. You're not, I'm not downplaying whatever profession the girl is. Cause like, I know women as lawyers. I know women as doctors all that, and I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Them doing, they doing whatever they do. That make me go hard in my, my own industry, my own sport. That's cool. You feel what I'm saying? We both going hard in whatever our respective industry is. But I'm saying in regards to having some type of understanding and having some type of like, Something in common, like she don't necessarily have to be an athlete right now, but she did something back in the day. Like, Why can't y'all have common in food? Because like, we can do that to, too. But like the initial conversations, like, damn, that's what's up. Like you played soccer when you was six. Like yeah. I played. Fucking baseball. But why? My thing is, you're just, underestimating. I feel like you're just why? You're you underestimating that? You the fact that <laughs> why? 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 athletes <laughs> have been playing. Like for me, I've been playing basketball since I was three. So my entire life has been around that. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So right. when I stopped playing basketball in 2020, graduated. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, my identity was kind of changed. Like I kind of felt like, who am I? Because all my life I've been an athlete. Right. So you're underestimating. Like my dad, like I said, he played in the NBA and he, what, he retired when he was 30? My dad is 49 now and he is still an athlete. You know what I mean? That mindset never changes when it's really embedded in right. you. So I think you're, you're downplaying that. Like you right. can't, you don't have to stop being an athlete just because you're I never not said playing. you had to stop but being I'm an saying, athlete. But I'm saying you're acting like, 
I, that people did not aren't going to continue say you to, to talk athlete. about their sport, and that's not going to be their life. Like, just because right. you stop no, playing doesn't I mean that no, sports I, is not I, your I life. I'm like, saying that's not the only the, factor you have to yeah. connect with a not. person. Not what if the somebody, only, but that is a big one. But it's y'all got to stop being serious, though, bro. It's like, y'all, I, no, 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 are y'all single? Listen, listen, listen. Y'all have any? No, listen. I'm just being real. I'm just trying. I'm trying. The better way of saying it is more of a refreshment when you hear somebody say, like, oh, yeah, I played a sport. Boom, boom, boom. Like, that's what it really is. It's like, oh, that's what's up. Like, we got something that we can connect with, and then now I can get to know you more. Like, what's your favorite food, or what's some other? And that's shit. what I'm saying. But I'm see, not down. That's the thing, but, but that's, food. But that's, a, that's the problem. That's, 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 not a that's a starter. That's, that's what I'm saying. Why does that gotta be the starter for you? Why do yeah, I have to be? Because it that's what he's been dealing with. That's, that's, that's who he is. That's who he is. What else is he so passionate about? When you used to meet women or whatever, would you be like, oh yeah, I mean, I play basketball. She be like, oh, that's what's up. Like, hey. Yeah, that was when I was like 17. I'm right. 25 now, so I'm telling you. That ain't too far long ago. What are you saying? That's yes, not, it is. Yes, it That's is. Like that is enough. eight years ago. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying like. He was a teenager then. Well, what are you talking saying, about? I'm just saying. I'm saying. I was, like y'all saying, y'all play, y'all play, y'all ball, hoop, everything all y'all life. I was an athlete all my life too, and I still am. But I'm saying that is not the first thing I bring up when I'm speaking to somebody and want to connect well, we with someone. That it was the first thing we bring and, up. But you said that was a starter. That's what you, you said. said. You just said, you said it, bro. It's a starter. I agree to it. It's, it's somewhat you of a said, starter, but I'm saying it's a, re- it's a refreshment to say, like, all right, you tell you tell somebody about your your athletic background, and okay. they say they have an athletic background as well. It's like, oh, that's okay. What's but up. What okay, if, and then you said, boom. Now we can now we can connect with other things. Yeah, that's true. What if she's a beautiful woman? You're at your age now. And that's not the first thing they bring up. You told totally them we disregard we still, her. Okay, so so now you're contradicting yourself. Yeah, he's like, saying he would hell? prefer that, not that like that's all he's going to deal with, but he would prefer. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's not all I'm gonna deal with. Like I said, I know people that's them. lawyers, doctors, the whole night, and I respect everything they do. That's fair. You okay, so so we gonna just. So my, lay, right. lay it down. It's personal preference. Yeah, it is personal day. preference. But I was. So you I can't just want, tell me how. I'm not I trying should. to tell you. I'm. I'm. I. I am actually. I'm trying to tell no, you. No. So you. No. Can't listen. Just no, listen. I'm. I'm saying that you shouldn't. I don't think you should go about it like that, bro. Go about. I, like I don't what? think you should look for connecting through us. I'm not looking for anything. If somebody tell me like, oh yeah, I did that. Like, damn, that's what's up. Like, but that don't. I'm not taking away from the people that I know that's lawyers, doctors, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I'm not taking away from that. But if you meet somebody... I know a lawyer who is an athlete, D1, track star. Exactly. But so, stop. When you're talking about somebody... If, if somebody told matter. me they came from an athlete, they're like, damn, that's what's up, too. Like, boom. Yeah. Like, I also... I run a business. So are you automatically like, attracted to them when you hear that sports aspect? No, you're not automatically... Because they personality can be trash. But it's just a refreshment to hear somebody like, oh, I came from an athletic background as well. You don't even have to be a you professional can athlete. Like, I can relate to you in a whole nother way as well as other shit that you got going on. So ladies so out there, down, Tay man. is single, right? Tay is single. And if you read books and that's all you've been doing your whole life, I don't think he wants you. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely not the truth. That's not true. Because you mean, can connect that way, bro. Like, that's not the truth. You're I mean, talking I, to a dude that got, you know, hell got degrees, what? I'm educated as hell. That's why would fine. I, why wouldn't I be attracted to a woman that read books that's smart as shit? She could teach me something that I don't so know. So you're just saying it's cool. I'm just saying it's you're, a just, you're just saying it's cool <laughs> to hear that somebody played a sport, no matter yeah, what. Oh, that's cool. So that's they could have played a sport at two years old, and that's just cool to you. Like, that's what's up. Like, we could connect. Okay. Okay. Like, but, 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 how is that, but how is that connecting? Because how can a two-year-old still, playing a sport connect to somebody first who played Division going, One basketball? First of all, I, don't, I highly doubt anybody's going to mention, oh, I played a sport. Don't at two, like but nobody's that's what you just gonna bring no shit said like that up. But I'm saying, years ago, that's you, what I'm first asking. of all, let's let's all let, look. You trying to be literal, and I'm trying to like literally. If somebody said they played, I'm sport, trying to be literal. They're trying to literally. Not trying to literally. They're gonna say they play little league or they play in high school. Then they probably stop when they went to college because they focus on school. That's cool. You still play. That's what's up. Like we still got something to relate on. I could probably talk shit with you, be like, oh yeah, you still can't play. Boom, boom, boom. What I think, but that don't mean we can't connect with other things. But in the personal preference, like, oh yeah, I would love for the person that I'm dating to have some sort of athletic background. She could be a cheerleader. That's still an athlete. It don't Listen, matter. What I think, what I think y'all getting at is y'all want somebody with a healthy. Lifestyle. No. As far as fitness. No. You want them to be well, in the fitness? What if they what if they myself. lifted and worked out their whole life? Is that not af- you, you are, you're no. an athlete? If you're an athlete, if you don't know, if you're striving for practice lifestyle, it's, you're an athlete. It's women that work out in the gym who has not played a sport. They're an athlete. That's so what that's law athlete. athlete. So that's what I'm saying. That's what are you saying? That, yes, yes, that's a that's look, what you're that's saying. That's an athlete. Well, you're well, an athlete, well, but well, I'm saying I'm talking about if you play basketball. No. So let her elaborate. Okay. She doesn't think that. I don't think so. I think that if if you lifted in the gym all your life, that is great for you. But if you didn't compete, you're not an athlete. Okay. So y'all want Boom. somebody who competed. 
that's what an athlete is, I thought. You know, like, you had to be in competition. You had to be okay. on a well, team. Okay. So if you just lift it by yourself, you're not an athlete, athlete if you just go to the gym. You're strong. And, you or look if good. You're, or if you're on the but court. You're not a, you look athletic. And you're at the uh-huh. YMCA every day playing pickup. Are you an athlete? Wait, I'm sorry. If you're at the YMCA every day, we know people who go to the YMCA, all they want to do is, is run fives. I'm picking you up. Are you an athlete? Is that your type of athlete that you want to date? Oh, my type that I want to date? No. Yes. By definition for law athlete, anybody that strives for a proactive lifestyle is an athlete. By definition for law athlete. But, so I, first of all, I'm not the person. Working out. But I didn't, I'm not I'm disagreeing add, I'm with a, you. I'm not question for you. I'm not disagreeing. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? In what? In life? What do you want in a, <laughs> a relationship? guy? In a oh, man, yeah. okay? Like what type of man or just what I Everybody want say what they want. What do you want in a man? Okay, I want a man who is an alpha, right? Who knows like what the Like the, uh, oh, okay, alpha. Some, an Come alpha male. No, I know. You I know thought he, because like, you remember yesterday we said, yeah. not male. Okay, now. <laughs> is an alpha male. So he has like a personality where he knows what he wants. He's able to lead. I need a leader. I need somebody who is, you know, like strong minded. And honestly, I haven't date, dated anybody who was not an athlete. Um, my dad was an athlete, you know what they say, like girls sometimes go with what their father was because I'm comfortable. My dad's a great guy. I love him. And so like that's normally what I go to. That's pretty broad. You know what I mean? So like you said, like there's tons of there's different things that people can have different attributes that can make me like them. But that's the starter. You have to have an athletic background and you have to be strong. You have to be a leader. You can't be a yes man. You can't be you got to be the big homie, not the little homie. homie. Big Beach. You feel me? The big homie. Big Lala. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. What about you guys? I mean, I'm more Are you so single? I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's you're not ahead. single, are you? Tucker, go ahead. Because you got all the answers. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he talking as if he been here. He I just have a, lot of, ex- have, I have a lot of experience. I have a lot of experience and that's why as well. I, I'm not saying, I don't know what you have. I mean, I'm talking about a lot of experience in different. I'm saying, I have are, a you, lot of are you currently in, different in a relationship? I have a lot of experience. Are you currently in a relationship? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, is anybody in Tucker? Are you in a relationship? Don't ask me about my personal life. Okay. On camera. I don't, <laughs> no, I don't speak about my personal life on okay. camera. There's separate boundaries I'm for that. No, but, but seriously, no, like, I'm no, it is in real life. I don't talk about my personal. But relationships. I want to know what you want though, so you can tell us what you want. I can uh, absolutely tell you what I want. Because I, I like, know, look, I'm gonna just, what I need, you start, what I have, what I want. Before you start, I know there's some people out there in the law of athlete in, in the fan base that uh, <laughs> that like TC three. Okay. But go ahead. No, I'm serious. Okay. But what I like in a person or what I need, what I've had, what I understand what is want? to be, is a person who is dominant in a sense. I like a person who is an alpha, who is very understanding, who um, is genuine. I'm more of a person who has somebody who cares about people and what they like. So I'm more of on the emotional side of things. Like, are you a good person? Do you care about, like, your mom and stuff like that? How do you treat people? Do you, you know, what do you like to do outside of your sport? So for the most part, yes, I have dated athletes, and that is a preference to me because that is what I've been around, and that is what I know. But I also think about the things, like, what are you going to do when your sport is over? Like, do you have an interest in finance, so to speak? Do you know how to get there, or, or are you going to be willing to learn? Do you have a I'm plan? More into, yeah, do you have a plan? I'm more of that type of person, but I'm not going to bank off of you because of your sport because I know that I'm a person who's going to go and get it, and I don't need you. I don't right. ever need you because I, I got you. me. I want you, you and, want I, and you. I can. And I, I want can, you, Yeah, I don't need you. Exactly. Like, I, I am a person where I'm going to go and get it regardless. So you be on your stuff, I'm going to be on my stuff, and we're going to be good, and we can connect from that aspect. So that's what I'm more so, so about. Are you are you a genuine person? Black women and, and what are you gonna what and want. what are you gonna do about it? So so that's me. <laughs> we got two strong I black women. I love that. And that I only asked you if you were dating somebody because I wanted to know if you were putting like you know what I mean like who has the answers. No, I don't think anybody I'm single. No, so. Nobody got no that. Has the answers. I got the answers. What I'm the Kevin answer? Samuels Jr. <laughs> you don't got the answers if you're single. <laughs> I'm Kevin Samuels Jr. I got the answers. So now I don't got the answers, but I'm just telling y'all from experience. Like I was just saying, like you know, guys. I experience. feel like at this age, no one has the answers. I, no one has learning. the answers. I, know I mean, well, let, let me not say that. Even I our parents don't have the have answers. Some people are age who are already married and stuff like that. Yeah, that doesn't I mean nothing. Yeah, so that don't mean nothing. Our parents yeah. don't even have the answers. Right. 
And they still you said you're 20. You're, and I'm you want, 22. You want to be I would love to be married at 25. Uh, I, Damn. I used to think that. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I'm 25, though. But I, Well, you're supposed to be to getting engaged that. tomorrow, then. I guess so. Yeah, I like. Well. But, no, that's not a bad thing. Gotcha, like, that's not a bad thing. Gotcha, like, that's child. ideal. You yeah. know what I mean? Turn For me. That's where I And that's cool. But And I'm that way, though, because my parents have been together since middle school. My parents have been, my parents went to middle school down the street from here and they've been together ever since. Four kids together, they all have the same mom and dad. So that's why when I understand what it is to to be with someone, like we locked in, like it's genuine. And yeah. and that's why I care about people, goals and stuff like that. Because I've that's seen dope. what my parents have been through and they're still together holding it down today. My parents just turned 50. Yeah. So that Damn. that's why that's important to me to have like a, <laughs> A foundation and stuff like that and I don't just go for anybody but I also don't count you out because you didn't do this that my mom works for she signs patents for the government my mom didn't even go to college my dad didn't even go to college my brother who was in his 30s was the first person to go to college and I was a set and I was the first one to get a full scholarship to go to college mm -hmm. so I feel like you don't count people out because of their backgrounds right. my parents played sports in school so to speak my mom yeah. she tried to say she was good in track right. don't believe it but I, I, but I say that Show to the say tape. they built up a family who their kids were athletic. So sometimes you it might skip a generation or one of your brother or your sibling or something. They don't want to play. But would you want somebody to discount your brother because they don't play a sport or because mm -hmm. like that's not what they do? But they're mm -hmm. still a genuine person. That is that was not my discount, point. but I mean like. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's your personal who preference. Yeah, who genuinely yeah. wants yeah. to be with him. Right. Right. Yeah. That I was think, my point, guys. For me, bro, like, if you was to ask me. What do you want? To be honest, it's really simple. Somebody that I'm aligned with spiritually, emotionally, uh, mentally, uh, shit, even sexually, it don't matter, financially. Like, we don't even have to be going, like, you don't have to, like, okay, if I'm rich and you not rich, that's okay. I don't care. If you, as long as you happy, as long as you happy, whatever you do, I'm cool with that. As long as we're going in the same direction, that's all that matter to me, to be honest. Like, if you into personal growth, like, if you want to grow mentally, physically, and all that other stuff, like, I'm into shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? If you got a relationship with God, like, we got, that's number one. You got to have that. If you don't have a relationship with God, it's like, I can't even, I can't even do it. Like, I ask myself the question, could I date somebody with, from another religion? And it's like, yeah, I could, but what's going to happen is we're going to get in a situation where it's time to have kids and when it's time to get married. Like, what religion are we going to practice when it's time to get yeah. married? Or what religion are we going to teach our kids? Like, that's going to be hard. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but independent, my girl, she has to be independent. Like, I was raised by a hustler, so it's not, I'm not doing the whole little, like, housewife thing. I'm not doing it. Because my mother, she never did it, ever. They left me in the crib, and they went to work. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I'm three years old with a cell phone. You feel so what I'm saying? So you would say you, you, you more so relate to a person who has a competitive <laughs> and strong yeah, background yeah. because that's what you see at home. Exactly. And that's what Lala said. Right, exactly. She saw that at home because exactly. her father was right. an athlete. Right. And he's still, you know, well-known right. and stuff like that. Right. And that that's yeah. that's what it is, so to speak. Everybody Did your mom, was your mom an athlete? No, she was not. Mom. Okay, so dude, boom. Just a beautiful woman, boom. That's but, yeah. that's, but that's not a bad that's thing. Smart. It, that's sometimes that's what I see most men go for anyway. If we, if we being quite frank on the Instagram and stuff like that, you you see him with a badass girl, but what does she do? She's yeah. an Instagram model. She never played no athletic, no competition. But that's she's cute point. and she looks cute to carry on the hips. That's my point. Hella and, supportive. That's my. And that's oh. the thing. You know what? Like a, it takes a it's certain true. type of female to date mm -hmm. a, an athlete, a professional athlete. You know what I mean? Like you got to think about it. Throughout their life, like it's always about them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? From coming mm -hmm. back home from games where whether they win or lose, like it's always about them. So it's it's a it's a dope ass female who's able to put their feelings and emotions on the back burner for another guy. And that's not fair. It's kind of like the show it's though. though. It's okay. Not, but it, it's, it, not, it's not. It's kind of like the game. Have y'all seen too. the game? Uh, yeah. Melanie Derwin. Uh -huh. Yeah, she was in know, and that's school. real. The game yeah. based off of real. Life. And, but and she, why, she wasn't. And that's an why I'm trying to. That's why I'm trying to tell these athletes out here, these young guys, is coming up like, yo. Learn how to separate it. And it start, it start with young, bro. We was even talking about Lamont. When we were talking with Lamont last night, like, mm -hmm. it start young. Like, when your parents, like, after your game, like, sometimes parents need to know how to separate. Sometimes we got to learn how to just leave shit where it's at, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, like leave the game at the on the court. Not leave it at the court. Talk about it. But, yeah, low-key leave it at the court, bro. I feel like athletes, we also got to separate the game from our relationship, bro, is not mm -hmm. the same thing, bro. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, bro, you bring it to the crib. 
with your girl, she going to listen. Women always going to listen. Mm-hmm. They're going to listen to you every time, <laughs> all the time, all day. But in the back of her head, every time, every time she listen, every time, that's one little balloon getting being packed every time. I don't mind yeah. if my man comes home and talks about the game all day. I really don't. Because yeah, that's what you like, mind. though. But th- that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. So there are females that are okay with that. You know right. what I mean? And like, I think it's females like, who don't play sports who are okay with it. It's, I, it, it I think it's, I think it's a personality it's a thing. Like, yeah, are she, you laid she, back and all nah, that? Other stuff. You better not leave the game. Yeah. Um, so what? Cons- away if, what consensus lost, are we coming to? I'm so is everybody's personal preference here specifically? I just got to at because if he <laughs> yeah. said, said name, separate, <laughs> learn how to separate it. All I was saying was it was it's, it's a refreshing feeling to talk to a woman and say she came from some type of athletic background. That's it. I can separate it. I can no, come home not, no, and do all that. That's, that's what different I'm different saying. Thing. But I I it's was talking time. about the refreshing <laughs> fact that I hear a woman say like, oh yeah, I played soccer like before. Like, oh, all right, that's what's up. But you saying just y'all got to learn how to separate. It's like no, I can bro, separate. You, that's it. a whole different. That's a that's, whole different. That was my topic, and then you kept no, saying listen, about separating. I'm, I'm t- that's a whole different thing. That's a whole. That's a whole different thing right there. That we was Man, when, when you when you just said that. About what the fuck are you talking about? Listen, when you just said that, we was talking about like connecting with a woman, connecting with someone. You were saying when you connect, that's the only way to connect. You felt like no. You saying. said that's you said that that's your starter. Like you said because you said that it's a nice starter. You literally it's, it is a good starter. It's but I'm saying I'm, six two, I'm saying okay? that's not Don't the only. Don't come up to me and ask me. You Nothing. Like <laughs> Crazy. But I'm yeah. saying. You know what I did. I played basketball. Yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> I don't know. It's some, be, like, it's some, it's some people, talk tall people that. walking around just tall for no reason, yeah, though. Yeah. But they they know what questions night. coming. Very, right. Did you, <laughs> did play, you a play a sport? Did you play a sport? Exactly. Yeah. You tell you about, yo, did you play a sport? Yeah, yeah but that's, that's a good that's conversation starter, though. Talk about something else. Well, Nick, cool, that's what people do. People do that. That's not the only starter you can have. That was my point. And you do, though. That's what people do. And when I you're get a it, bro. Person, they're going to be like, yo, did you play a sport? Do you play a sport? You look like you play a sport. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Do you? Yes. It's not the oh, only starter, so though, Tay. Boom. Oh, yeah. What else you do? What I, are you I, sitting it's down? Like, it's a cool I, I, under, I understand like, what, what he's hell? saying. You make it look like it's so hard. Yeah. I get like, it. Like, if you out at the club, yeah. you, you see 6'2 Lala. Oh, you used to hoop. I dunk on you. Well, I say that all the time. Her. Okay. Like, like, they oh, try to start a conversation. They are champ, though. But it happens. There's no other point of talking about this no more, bro. It happens to my best friend every single time we go out because she's tall as hell. Exactly. You said ball. Yeah, but but that's that's the men of this world. For well, you. I know They're how to bag corny. six two girls at the club now. Oh my god, you! You might not bag <laughs> them, but you know how to talk Got to her. them. You know how to get somebody. Uh, I'm I mean, saying, for your that's heart right now. To talk to somebody. Like, yeah. I mean, that's just we're that's just a, saying that's a starter. Like yeah. it's obvious. But I'm saying that my right, point so was it's not the only starter. You meet us, okay? Cool. Okay, hey, sexy, what's your sign? What you gonna do there? I'm not talking to a six two girl. I'm five eleven. Smart. Good, good. Don't play. Lock. <laughs> Don't play. <laughs> so I would I would say though, just because all, most of us, not most of us, all of us were athletes, but we've all dated athletes. That's 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 the consensus mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. and we mainly dated athletes because you play football, you play basketball, I play basketball, you play basketball, and you go to school and. Those are the people who you hang out with at school. Those are the people you connect with. Those right. are who you sit with at the calf. Right. Like that's. But it's not to downplay anybody else that haven't played a sport. Like oh, didn't play. Like yo, like that's dope, bro. Like I said, if you're a lawyer, you're a doctor. I don't give a damn. You could be a gardener. It don't matter. Like if you dope at what you do and you dope and you love what you do, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? But I won't take away from the fact that like if you told me you played a sport, I'm like damn, that's what's up. Like we got another way we can connect. Not saying that's the only way that we can connect. Like no, like we have another way on top of the other things that I'm also interested in, interested in that you're doing and as and vice versa. Like. That's and and, and when you put it into perspective, the things that athletes have to go through coming right, up as right. far as the discipline right. aspect of things, the right. certain characteristics, right. that's what you will want for your child. Exactly. And that exactly. is why you would prefer right. if that's how it works out to than them, damn marry right. somebody else who was an athlete right. because of right. those aspects right. and you feel like it'll help for you Think when you it. raise the a same, child in the future. Those same, those same characteristics, the same people, same reason why we get jobs because the team oriented discipline, being able to being competitive, work the work hard at the, I mean, uh, hard, the hard work ethic, you feel what I'm saying? Like, those are the same reasons why we get jobs and shit. 
why would not I want those same characteristics in my own children? And, and better yet, why would not I want that, those same characteristics in the woman that I'm dating? You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's easy to already, like, damn, you're an athlete. I already know you probably got this, that, and the third on top of whatever else you got that's probably dope as hell, too. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not taking away from whatever else you got going on with your life, but I know if you did it, I know you probably got these characteristics, and I know I ain't got to really worry about you being hard, hard working. I know, I know people you who are regular is. students, bro, that's discipline. Time oriented, type. same thing. It's, it's a different type, but I'm just yeah. But when you, then see, 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 the thing is, with athletes, I, I truly believe like we understand the the essence of perseverance, 100. percent I agree. Like the the, the epitome, like literally, we understand it because it's times where we want to give up. It's times we may fucking sprain the an ankle, and we still gotta take that shit up and play. It's and times so, when people fail a test and they still gotta go home and study. A, and take another test. a broken fucking sprained <laughs> ankle. It's not the same Sorry. thing. I'm just saying, you bro. You're test. talking about. You talk. It's the same that's thing the in same a different thing. field, bro. It's not, bro. It's it not is. the same thing. You're talking about it injuring is. your body versus a paper. Some shit. Because we fail tests too at the same time. Exactly. We fail tests and fuck up our ankles. <laughs> <laughs> and we still gotta fight through both of that shit. So what are you and talking you about? You still gotta go to practice. And you still gotta go to practice. And they don't. Yeah. Yeah. They like, oh, you're hurt. I don't care. Go, go to tutoring. Way you different. Go to tutoring. I understand. Get your grades I'm more so. I'm really into this conversation because it's it's something you can play devil's advocate with. Right. And. And you know, I understand said side. <laughs> and and I understand <laughs> I understand y'all side. So before we wrap up, Lala, let's get a quick a little bit more about your background, some of the things that you're into right now that you've been doing. We love the conversation about relationships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're all pretty dominant and strong minded and opinionated <laughs> and and, that, and we love that. But we want to know a little bit more about you before we, you know, get this wrapped up. Okay. Well, right now I'm working for Beautiful Ballers. You guys know that social media platform. We just hit four hundred thousand followers. Yay. Yeah. Um, mm. And I have a show called Beyond Ballin', and it kind of, you know, talks about um, I get to talk to athletes and talk about life beyond their perspective sport. As we know, like sports, not everything. We kind of talked about that here. So I get right. to do that. And I'm starting a new position at WBOC in Salisbury, Maryland as a news anchor there. So I start nice. in July. Tough. Congratulations. Well-rounded woman, man. We love to see it. Thank you. We love that um, small market news. I know is not the easiest Definitely. thing, so I'm wishing you the best with that, especially uh, like being a black woman out there by yourself. So I know you'll do great things. Have your yeah. reel and stuff on point. It'll be good for you though. So Thank that's you. that's real good Definitely stuff. Excited. Most definitely, most def, oh. man. That's most definitely. Catch me on your TV. <laughs> uh, what is that? Del Marva. Del Marva. Yep. Yep. Channel yep. 14. I know somebody who worked there. That's good. That's what's up, yeah. That's what's awesome. up. Well, look, man, this is another episode. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe uh, to the Law Athlete Podcast. We Tell them where they can follow you at yeah, and yeah, all that yeah, other yeah. stuff, oh, too. Yeah, you can Shout follow out me on social. Instagram at A-Y-E-E -E underscore underscore Lala and Twitter at Lorenzia Moten. Boom. Yo, we got a gift for you, too. We're going we gonna to cop that to you, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we got some Law Athlete shit, you know what I'm saying? Let me see that right Healthy there. life. Wealthy life, you know life. What I'm saying? Happy okay. wife. Happy, happy life. life. We already talked about relationships. Happy wife, happy life. So, fellas, exactly what I was saying. <laughs> 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 say now, say now. You're good. Y'all got it. <laughs> all right, y'all. Boom. No curtains. I'm closing the curtains. Stop all the acting. I'm tired of all of the purpose.